Again, another reminder before the video starts, man, if you guys want to do me a favor, just go ahead and go into the description of this video or any other video you plan on watching of mine. Uh, if you happen to do so, just go to the show more. You see right here, sign up for free to play weekly fantasy. Having a tournament this week where you can go on ahead and win a free $50 Amazon gift card. Doesn't uh, cost anything to sign up. You can sign up for free and enter in the lineup. You scroll down, you'll see the Mr. Golden Mud Challenge right here. You click that and you will make your entry. And uh, again, the more people that sign up, uh, it's you know definitely looks better for me. I can keep this partnership and sponsorship with them, and we'll be able to bring you you know much better uh, rewards. Right now, this is just a trial, and if I can show them that I can have people interested in signing up for the website and joining these tournaments, then they'll be able to do things like consoles and plenty of other stuff, which I would love to be able to do for you guys. So the link is in the description. Go on ahead and click that. Uh, if you already signed up, go on ahead and uh, just make a lineup. Or if you didn't sign up, just create one. Sign up. doesn't cost you any money. They're not going to ask you for any type of registration fee or any type of credit card information. They're not going to ask you for anything. Just sign up, make a lineup, and that's it. And I truly appreciate it. Thanks. So here we go. We are 7-0. And before this game, I took a look to see if I could get rid of this Robert Griffin III. He's pissing me off, man. He's out here missing throws and doing things that uh, Cam did, but not as bad. So both of these guys just missing throws. And you guys know I try to keep throwing to a minimum. So when I do throw the ball, it's usually, you know, maybe just a quick pass to keep my opponent off guard. I'm okay if you miss that throw. But, you know, most of the time when I do, oh, great, he's got, I got to deal with AP. How, Sway? How does he still have AP? How? And not only does he have AP, he does the uh, the motion swing plays. It's so frustrating, man, the PA swing uh, screen. And then he does it to the left side, and I'm like, oh, my God, please don't tell me I got to deal with this. I suck at defending these, man. And then quick inside juke with AP. Now I got to defend this damn goon right here. Oh, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long, long day trying to stop this Adrian Peterson man right here. He chucks it up. Yeah, we are thankful that it's overthrown. Second and 10, back to the motion swing. Now, right there, I uh, manually followed it. I got to be careful because sometimes it's that play right there with the fullback screen. But he still threw it to AP anyway. He don't give a damn. He's habitual when it comes to throwing to these flats, man. Try to take off. It's a fumble. And uh, we do end up getting the sack. So, uh, second and 14 right here decides to run the ball. And, oh, Aaron Donald with the tackle of the drive. And right there we said, a little bit of heat. What? As we end up coming up clean for the sack. Fourth and 22, he's like, YOLO, I don't give a damn. I'm going for it. And somehow he catches this and holds on to it. But thankfully, I was there to go on ahead and prevent him from getting any more yards in the first down. Our first play was a huge fail. And you notice in the top right, his mic is like um, showing the animation as if he's talking. Oh, I heard him. Oh, I heard him. He was just... <sighs> He's doing that heavy breathing like that dude who uh, loved... Uh, uh, oh, get the hell up off. That's a grown man he's trying to tackle who liked Helga Pataki. You know what I'm talking about? The dude with the glasses and she would always just back fist him in the face. Like, that's how he sounded throughout the entire game. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Anyways, nonetheless, uh, third and five right here. We try to hit him with a little counter and the Marco Murray does pick up the first down you see me playing passive i was gonna take the field goal here i get ball at halftime and we stopped in his first possession i was gonna play for the field goal but i just so happened to get the first down and ah, rookie couldn't quite hit the edge he's calling timeouts because oh he know he know i'm gonna kill that clock baby right there he stops us again third on third down <coughs> excuse me damn it i almost made it one half without coughing on third down you see me just again same situation just run the ball want to play conservative just going ahead and take my points uh right there he throws out of the backfield and whoo Oh my goodness, Cam! Calm down, bro. Calma, take it, calm on, my man. Cam Chase out here laying the wood. That's right here. We're rolling. We're rolling. You see how A just came back to the line of scrimmage? I rerouted him to the right side. Why in the world did he just drop down like that? Why? 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 We do end up settling for the field goal, so we go up six to zero with ball. So. You know, another field goal puts us up two possessions, so I'm okay with that. All we got to do is just get in field goal range, which I've been able to do previous two drives. So right here, start off with the run and just can't quite hit the edge like I really want to. Like this right here, that power option. He runs right into me. And look at Ricky go. 
Look at Ricky Williams. Go all the way to the end zone. And we end up taking my PAT. Going up 13 to 0. So I'm hoping that I get him out of those, those uh, motion swing plays. Because Lord knows they are hell to deal with. Another quick pass out of the backfield. I got to start paying attention to that. Because he's knowing that, uh, that pass straight to uh, AP. Right here he takes off. And he gets a good gain right there with Russell Wilson. And another thing we got to look out for. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. We lock everything up. And he just takes off. So frustrating. Beyond frustrating. I finally have a good defense on the field. There's nowhere you can pass. And you run. <sighs> and then he hits me with a rocket catch. Thankfully, he dropped it due to the contact right there. Back on the run. He goes. Big scene. Uh, big scene. Big hole right there to the right side. And uh, he gets a great gain. So uh, he's probably going to try and go for six right here. I don't really... Think he's gonna try and go for a field goal here, and Russell Wilson takes off again and uh, stop him at the two yard line right here. He decides to run the ball, and we stop him. So, right here on uh, second down, he decides to run again, and we stop him. I didn't even run commit there, I was playing, I was thinking he was gonna pass the ball. And hey, listen, I am thankful, thankful that somehow we got a block shed to go ahead and stop him in the backfield. So, at this point, all we really want to do is just waste time. And right here, we got one guy there and just give him the stiffy long arm style. As Ricky Williams comes through with another big run. And he tried to strip me right in front of everybody. Just booty boho naked. He tried to strip me, boy. Right here, one of the rear passes that we're going to do. Nobody's over, so we take off. And look at the guy beyond the first down marker. He's literally just stood there. Nobody in his zone. Nobody to guard. Just stood there. I thought for sure he was going to come down and crack me. But look how hard Ricky Williams is fighting, though. Like, look how hard this man is fighting for the first down right there. Somehow I got a yard out of that. Third and one right here, another power option. I try to I try to give him the, the, the pitch, man. It just wouldn't happen. He was offside right here, so we got a free play. So just dump it down, and we were gladly going ahead and accept that because uh, that would have been turnover on downs. So at this point, just trying to waste as much time as possible because I feel like game is, is over. Oh, look at RG3. Look at RG3. Oh, we can rock and catch too, baby. Actually, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's just a lucky animation, but I take it. Sometimes you just got to pitch a brother, man. Sometimes you got to pitch him. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to pitch a ninja, man. Bro, you're going to get these pitches, man. So we pitch him, and we are up 20-0 to zero in the fourth quarter. Time expiring right there, and he's still continuing to go to AP. This man went to AP often, and rightfully so, because he's such a monster. Like, my Lord, is this card difficult to deal with. And I got some of the best cards in the game. You know, defensively, it doesn't matter. AP doesn't give a damn who's on your team. He will go and he will run right. He will run amok. Like, he, he just ran right through freaking uh, Sherman. He don't give a damn. So, right here, plenty of running room, but he starts off his back foot. And uh, we end up cracking him. But he's still 8 for 11. He had good reads except for that one. <laughs> and only 30 seconds remaining. Nothing left to do but run the, uh, run the clock out right there. And you see me cocking it up. Cocking it up, man. About to give him the stiffy. Long arm style. He tried to go for the fumble. He does actually end up stripping me right here, but we end up recovering. But nonetheless, that's the end of the game, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Ricky Williams just goes for like 170, and we dominate. It's your boy, Jess, man. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. And sign up for MVP, man. Look out for your boy, man. Link is in the description. Look out for your boy one time.